Shalom to the Lord's elect. Once again, it's another video. Hopefully you uh, find this video edifying as well as uh, exhorting. <coughs> Excuse me. Let me start by saying all praises and glories due to the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rakaq, And uh, you're looking at the title of this video. So why must America be destroyed? And we can't wait, man. This is one of many reasons. So there's many reasons why this place must be destroyed and will be destroyed. But I'm going to focus on a reason, one of the many reasons in this video. The fact that America is the great whore that sits upon many waters. And that's pursuant to... Uh, <coughs> That's pursuant to Revelation. <clears throat> Revelation, the book of Revelation, uh, I think it's, excuse me, the 17th chapter. Revelation, the 17th chapter. And what the book of Revelation is, is the many visions that was given to Apostle John on the island of Patmos. And he was sent there. He was charged with sedition against the Roman government by the Roman officials, such as uh, Domitian Caesar comes to mind. It was Domitian Caesar who banished um, Apostle John to the island of Patmos to serve his sentence. And by then, pretty much all the disciples, which became apostles, had been put to death. The Apostle John was the only one left. And uh, like I said, he was banished to the island of Patmos. The original 12 disciples, which became apostles, uh, of the original of the original 12 disciples, which became apostles, of course, minus Judas Iscariot. Uh, by the time Apostle John was sent to the island of Patmos, he was the only one left. Okay? And that was by Domitian Caesar. So while he was on the island of Patmos, he received a series of visions. And one of those visions was he saw the future. He saw America in one of his visions. Of course, you're not going to see the word America in the book of Revelation, but it doesn't mean that America as a nation is not in prophecy, especially in the book of Revelation. Okay? So America is this, this great whore that sits upon many waters. Now, this is the book of Revelation 17. And one, it says, and there came one of the seven angels, which had the seven vials, and talked with me, saying, Come hither, I will show unto thee, talk, talk with me, who, who's the me? Apostle John. Who's, who, who, and the angel is showing him this vision. He's seen a vision, a vision of the future. Saying unto me, Come hither, I will show unto thee, the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Now, who is this great whore that sitteth upon many waters? That's talking about America. America is that great whore that sitteth upon many waters. What does it mean, sitteth upon many waters? The waters is a metaphor for people. Now, what I did was I typed in, I typed in in Google, what is the most influential? Because this is an example of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Okay, sitteth upon many waters, meaning sits on many people, influences many people with their philosophies and the, and their 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 si the the system, their system, the American system, the American dream, the American philosophy. So what I did was I typed in. What is the most influential country in the world? And look what came up. 
the United States, as in America, United States, the United States of America is a North American nation that is the world's most dominant economic and military power. Okay, this is an example of this is an example of sitting upon many waters, as the waters is a metaphor for peoples. Okay? And the reason why America is a is a, is likened unto a whore because of its philosophy that permeates all the countries of the world. Okay? Bear with me for a minute. There was something else that I read. I'm trying to find it for you. What is the number one country in the world? The uh, top 10 most powerful countries in the world. And this is according to U.S. News 2023 in U.S. U.S. News, United States, number one. As you see here, United States is number one. Sitteth upon many waters. Okay? It was something that I had read. It talked about the American uh, movies and the American songs. You know, especially Hollywood has a major influence on the world. I was trying to find it. Okay. So you get the point, all right? So going back to the scripture... Come hither, I will show unto thee the judgment of the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. So we already broke down why America is that great whore because of her influence on, on the uh, systems of all the other nations through Hollywood, through, uh, through her, uh, the American way of life, the American lifestyle. Okay? Every, you, you, you look at every other nation, they all desire to at least come to America and, ex, ex, uh, you know, enjoy the American experience, okay? I mean, America's losing its, 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 uh, its uh, shine, its lackluster, if that's the correct word. But it still has that influence. It's still the most influ influential country on the planet Earth. So indeed it is the great whore that sitteth upon many waters. Now what's the judgment? Well, the judgment, when you go back to the law, okay, when you go back to the law, according to the Bible, a whore is supposed to be either stoned or set on fire. That's the judgment of a whore. And that's how we know one of the many reasons, like the title of the video is, one of the many reasons why America must and will be destroyed. It's because it's the great whore that sits upon many waters. Okay? It's the great whore that sits upon many waters. And the, according to the Bible, the judgment of a whore is to be set on fire. Okay? To be set on fire. Or to be stoned. This is the book of Leviticus 21 and 19. It says. Um, 21 and 9. And the daughter of any priest. If she profane herself. By playing the whore. She profaneth her father. 
she shall be burnt with fire. So according to Leviticus 21 and 9, that's the judgment of a whore, to be burnt by fire. Or either to be stoned. Let's read Deuteronomy 22 and 21. Then they shall bring out the damsel to the door of her father's house. Damsel is another word for woman. And the men of the city, the men of her city, shall stone her with stones that she die. Because she have wrought folly in Israel to play the whore in her father's house. So, sh so shall thou put evil away from among you. Now that's kind of heavy because you notice, right? It says, and the men of her city shall stone her with stones. Well, guess what? America is going to be stoned. America is going to be stoned with stones of fire. The missiles, right? The missiles are likened unto stones. Let me get that scripture for you. And it's these other countries that's going to, other countries like Russia and all her allies, Iran, China, eventually they're going to shoot missiles on this place called America. So they're going to stone this whore, just like we read in Deuteronomy 22, where it says the men of the city, if a woman plays the harlot, a whore, the men of the city shall get together and stone her. So check that out. America is going to be stoned. Here it is right here. This is the book of Revelation 16 and 21. And there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven. That's a metaphor for those missiles. Okay, those missiles, which are stones of fire. The missiles are stones of fire. Okay, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven. Every stone about the weight of a talent. And men blasphemed the Most High because of the plague of hail. Now, indeed, when you go in the book of Zechariah 14 and 12, the missiles are also known as a plague because of the de destruction that it's going to bring. Zechariah, Zechariah 14 and 12. Let's read that. Show you it's a plague. Zechariah 14 and 12. And this shall be the plague wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. Meaning against the Israelites, the Lord's people. The true Israelites. You know, one of the things America is guilty of is bringing the Lord's people into slavery. Okay. The so-called Negroes that were brought here to America, they're, they're of the head tribe of the nation of Israel, the tribe of Judah. And America is guilty of that. Okay. In particular, the so-called white man that controls America. They're guilty of that. So that's another reason why this place must be and will be destroyed. Because of what the, what they've done, what America has done to the Lord's people. You know, the, the, the brutal oppression of slavery. So this shall be the plague. Wherewith the Lord will smite all the people that have fought against Jerusalem. The Israelites, the true Israelites. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet. What is that? Nuclear radiation. And that's been shown in many movies. You know, uh, The Day After comes to mind, that movie. Um, also the movie Terminator. The most famous one is probably Terminator 2. With the scene with Sarah Connor on the fence. The woman who played her, Linda, Ham Linda Hamilton. And that was based upon a dream that the so-called black woman had. And I believe she pitched the idea to uh, the, the the director of uh, of uh, Terminator 2, which was James Cameron. And James Cameron put it in, in, you know, he put it in the movies. Or he put it in his movie, I should say. All right, Terminator 2. So we've all seen, those of us who've seen the movie, we remember the scene where she's rattling the fence, trying to wake she sees herself and children playing in this playground. She's trying to rattle the fence and wake them up to the destruction that's coming or that, that was about to come. And then we see the, the missile explode, the blinding light, and then the wall of fire, the, the wave of fire, the wind of fire. And it 
blew her flesh right off her skeleton. Okay? So, that's what we're reading about here. That's exactly what's going to happen when those missiles are exploded over the skies of America. Their flesh shall consume away while they stand upon their feet, and their eyes shall consume away in their holes, and their tongue shall consume away in their mouth. Okay, so that's the plague, nuclear nuclear radiation. You know, the so-called Japanese back in World War II experienced that, or a lesser form of that with what happened in Hiroshima and uh, Nagasaki. Okay, two cities that were that uh, faced atomic warfare. Now we have nuclear warfare, which is a lot more powerful. So that's what that's talking about. So the uh, the metaphor of a stone is used for those missiles. Okay, and this this is what is meant here. Revelation sixteen and twenty one, and there fell upon men a great hail out of heaven. Every stone about the weight of a talent, and men blasphemed the heavenly Father because of the plague of the hail, for the plague thereof was exceeding great. You see that? That's the missiles, man. A great plague. And the, like I said, the missiles are, are known as stones in the scriptures. One of the many metaphors used for the missiles are stones. What is the judgment of uh, one of the judgment of a whore? One of the judgments of a whore is to be stoned. Either stoned or set on fire. So the judgment that's going to be brought upon America is a combination of both. America is going to be stoned by those missiles and they're going to be stones of fire. Stones of fire. I'm going to go to uh, back me for a minute. Excuse me for a minute. Look at this one here, Ezekiel 16. Oh, check this out. This is Ezekiel 16. And uh, and 35. Wherefore, O harlot, hear the word of the Lord. Thus saith the Lord power, because thy filthiness was poured out in in. That could be attributed to America. America's filthiness is being poured out. Trans, trans, the tran, the tranny movement. You know what I mean by that? The filthiness that's coming out of Hollywood or Hollyweird. It's it has influenced the whole world. There's no denying that. So because thy filthiness was poured out and thy nakedness discovered, meaning the shame of America, the the, you know, the slave trade, slavery. That's a big black eye on that on that whore called America. All right? Slavery, 
oppression, all of that. That's why they're trying to, Esau now is trying to deny it. Saying that slavery was a choice and all that nonsense. Even had that puppet, what's his name, the rapper um, Kanye West saying that crazy shit. Slavery was a choice. Who influenced him to say that? Esau. They want to keep Esau happy. And he, even though he he uh, tried to, you know, the small hatters, uh, Kanye West, even though he, he tried to kiss their ass, they still <laughs> they still took him down. Okay, he's not, he's nowhere as popular as he used to be. So there you go. Because thy filthiness was poured out and thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers. That's the... That's a metaphor for all the other nations that are in bed with, like China. China is in bed with America. Okay? But China is still going to end up turning against America. That reminds me of the prophecy in Obadiah. All the men of that confederacy have, have turned against thee. Roughly paraphrasing that scripture. So all the nations that once desired to be like America, like China, they'll turn against America. They're, they're turning, they will turn against this whore. And, and shoot missiles on her, stone her, okay, just like the judgment of a whore, to be stoned to death by, by the men of the city, right? And thy nakedness discovered through thy whoredoms with thy lovers and with all the idols of thy abominations and by the blood of thy children which thou didst give unto them. Behold, therefore, I will gather all thy lovers with whom thou hast taken pleasure and all them that thou hast loved, with all them that thou hast hated, I will even gather them round about against thee, and will discover thy nakedness unto them. The shame of America is being discovered by the whole world, that they may see all thy nakedness. And I will judge thee as women that break wedlock and shed blood are judged. And I will give thee blood in fury and jealousy. The metaphor for that is those missiles, man. The nuclear missiles, World War III. Also the chariots of the Lord, too. Yahweh himself is coming with fire. Luke 12 and 49. Right? What did Yahweh say? I'm coming to send fire on earth. What will I if it already be kindled? So that's the judgment of a great whore, fire. Even Yahweh Shai himself with the angels is coming to bring fire. Luke 12 and 49, Isaiah 66 and 15. So there's no doubt, man, America will, must and will be destroyed. There's no doubt about it. All right, Ezekiel 16, 39. And I will also give thee into their hand and they shall throw down thine eminent place and shall break down thy high places. Yeah, all the... You know, Hollywood and uh, Washington, D.C., all the great monuments that are over here in America, all, all that shit is going to be destroyed. <laughs> Every last one of it. A last one of it. <laughs> and they shall throw down thine eminent place and shall break down thy high places. They shall strip thee also of thy clothes and shall take thy fair jewels and leave thee naked and bare. Yeah, because this place is going to be, this place is going to be be turned into a, a desert. America is going to be a hundred percent desert when the Lord get through with it. It says, "They shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones." That is the judgment of a whore to be stoned to death or to be set on fire. Now, in the case of America, being that great whore that sitteth upon many waters, we read that back in Revelation seventeen and one. We made the point there. This bitch is going to be stoned with stones of fire. The missiles are stones of fire. So it's a combination. They, that's, man, the Heavenly Father, the way he does his work is, is, is just simply magnificent. That's why it is written, O, 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 Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai, marvelous are thy works. So this is the work of Yahweh Bar Shimei Shai. He's combining two forms of judgment in one. A whore is either supposed to be stoned to death or set on fire. Guess what? America going to receive both at the same time. America's going to be stoned by those missiles, and those missiles are going to emit fire. So it's stones of fire. Check that out, man. <laughs> Ezekiel 16 and 40. 
they, they shall also bring up a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones. What's that, what's that company? Uh, Russia, the, uh, go to Ezekiel 38 chapter. It gives you a list of nations that eventually are going to shoot missiles against America and Israel. Those two countries. But, but unlike America, Israel is going to be rebuilt. But America is going to remain a desert. And America is the, is, is, is the focal point. America is, the, is the, uh, the focus of these other nations to destroy, especially Russia. Okay? So that's that company. They shall also bring a company against thee, and they shall stone thee with stones and thrust thee through with their swords. Another metaphor for destruction. And they shall burn thine houses with fire and execute judgments upon thee in the sight of many women, and I will cause thee to cease from playing the harlot, and thou also shall give no thou also shall give no hire any more. So America's America's not gonna be any more. This place is gonna be destroyed. That that'll be the end of the great whore <laughs> that sitteth upon many waters. Because she would have received her judgment, which is to be stoned and to be set on fire. Stones of fire. Okay? That's the future of America. Stones of fire. So pretty much that's it, you know. This is something I was meditating on. So why must America be destroyed? Among the many reasons. Uh, one of those reasons is... This is the great whore that sits upon many waters. And according to the Bible, as you have seen, a whore is either supposed to be stoned to death or set on fire. America is going to receive both. America is going to receive stones of fire, as you have just seen in this lesson. All right, so on that note, I'll see you in the next one.